Well, the community at first, like any other West Texas conservative community, they panicked. You know, they, they were, we even had some people hold up signs that says the devil is here and stuff like that. But, you know, in every town you'll, you'll have your extremists. Our town had no way of seeing it. You cannot see this compound from the ground. All you can see is the top of the temple. I think raiding the temple was the most tense moment. But after that, I think it's going to be downhill. Uh, the men were, were even asking the deputy if the deputies would help them move cheese. And so the law enforcement officials were actually helping the FLDS move their cheese to the refrigerator so that they, uh, it wouldn't spoil and stuff like that. The temple itself is just a massive structure. And when you look up at it, the walls are so high that you can, you can hardly, you can't even see the doors. All you can see is the very top part of the roof of the temple. And then you can see the great column. And when I was out there, the sun was coming right, right over the top of the temple dome. The temple itself is white limestone on the top of it. There is a, there's a dome and on the very top of a dome is a rod with an eye that looks down and it glows and it shines above the temple. Okay, the apartment complexes are, are log and concrete. Generally the entrance is always from the second floor and the reason is and that is that their blueprints actually come from up north where it snows which it explains the, the uh, entrance on the second story. They are very homey looking. They have irrigated uh, irrigated fields. Now these fields are unique in themselves because the field started out as being solid rock. These people actually brought black dirt in and created fertile fields. It looks like a city unto itself. It's a, it's a very well designed city with straight streets, beautiful homes, and uh, it's, it's a city that people would be proud to live in actually.